Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Bella here and today is a very different but interesting video. So a few weeks ago, I texted my cousin Jess who is also known as Jessie Milani on Instagram. She is an Instagram model. So I'm excited but also nervous because I don't know how this video is going to turn out because this is completely different from everything I'm done. So of course, you saw the title, you would know that this is an interview about body positivity and Jess's journey on Instagram. I think Jess was a perfect candidate for this and I think she is an inspiration to so many people. So I wanted to interview her just to get her full story because obviously I know stuff but I don't know everything. So I just want to know about her growing up versus her now. What challenges she had to face and stuff which i'm excited to find out <laughs> so i texted jess and she will be over here soon and then we are going to start filming this video and then i'm just gonna ask her some questions so we'll see what goes from there so we got jesse milani in the house no no <laughs> do you do that on your youtube videos do you sometimes like it, where did you get it from Honestly, I don't know. I think Faith and I just been doing that. <laughs> I don't know. When people just like say my name or something, I'm like, what's going on? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. Well, we're just going to start with your entire journey. So, <laughs> <laughs> woo! Yeah! Okay, so really, how did you get on Instagram? How did I get on Instagram? Well, I don't know if I've told you before, but I was on Instagram when I was like in the sixth grade or seventh grade and I used to use it just to edit pictures. Wait, really? Yeah, <laughs> like I like all those like old films, they're still on there. I used to just use it to like upload. My thing was like, Jesse Pooh loves you. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely changed it. And then I was like, Jesse 29 as in, I think um, in high school, it started getting like more popular, mm -hmm. like people were posting, but really Twitter was the thing. Um, but then I was Belgium's princess. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I kind of just going through my usernames and not answering your question. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I've just been on. It was just a thing to be on to on Instagram. Yeah, but now I'm uh, Jesse Milani. Follow her on Instagram. J-E-S-S-I-M-E-L-E-N-I. -E -E <laughs> so we're going to, you know, dig in the past a little bit. Okay. So what was it like growing up with your body, like being the way you were? Um, growing up, I had a lot of struggles with my weight. I remember being in the first grade and I was taking a picture with my teacher and her assistant and I had the picture. I was like in this little flower dress and the assistant teacher put her hand on my stomach just to pose. Mm -hmm. And I remember being so self-conscious about her hand being there because I was like, my tummy's big. And when you're in the first grade, you're like, what, seven? Yeah, yeah, like definitely. seven or eight. So I noticed it from there. Um, I used to always get told, probably in the family, that my butt was big. And I remember one day I was looking in the mirror. I was like, big butt? Okay, that's new. And I was probably eight or nine <laughs> around that time. Um, when I played soccer um, at the rec center, I remember... Uh, you know how you get all those pictures mm -hmm. and then you give it out to like your family with a picture of you posing and then on the back is like your name, your eye color, your weight and your height or something. Yeah. And I was like a hundred pounds at the time and I was I was eight or nine I believe and I remember I begged my mom, I was like, Can you please like just take off ten pounds? Like can you just say I'm ninety pounds? Because I didn't mm -hmm. want my family and my mom's friends to see that that's how much I weighed, but growing up, I was definitely very self-conscious. I always had a big tummy. That was always my struggle area. For the people that are watching this, Bella's my cousin, so we're very close, and I always grew up around the same house that we're in, yeah. and for you and Serena, you guys were always in soccer, and you were very active, and I just mm -hmm. remember being compared to you guys a lot, like, oh, why don't you go do this? Why don't you do that? And... I was I would see how small you guys were and how we were like limited to what we could eat and stuff you know being here so that made me like like they can't eat this snack but I have the op like but it, but they're so small I don't know how to really put it but I'd probably go more in depth off camera with that but yeah is there like an initial like 
moment like a crucial moment where you wanted like where you felt insecure like was it with the teacher or was there a moment before where you just were like wow I feel insecure having my body I want to change it I would say maybe like in middle school when I started liking guys and I mean I always had little crushes in elementary school like in boys and stuff but I would say in middle school um I think I was more body conscious of myself. I used to have to ride my bike to school and I would like kind of be like conscious of the clothes that I would wear, mm -hmm. like being on my bike, like sitting and stuff, you know, stuff holds your tummy. I don't really recall a moment where I really needed to change myself as like a young adolescent. Maybe in high school, I became more self-conscious of my body and thought that like I need to lose weight. Maybe even after high school, I would say. I can't really think of a moment where I was like, whoa, I need to change mm -hmm. until recent, actually. When was the recent moment? Um, so recently, like when I got signed mm -hmm. um, to a modeling agency, I I immediately intentionally put on weight. Like I, I, I was making myself eat more and stuff to because in the modeling industry it's like you're either this big or you're this yeah. big and i just word of mouth you know oh they'll make you put on a fat suit um for photo shoots if you're not like a certain size um they'll they'll just like it's just you kind of have they wanted a, a more of a bigger girl in some brands to represent themselves and you wouldn't get booked as much. I remember this girl told me she wouldn't get booked as much when she had lost weight. And my agent, um, well not my agent, the owner of my company, um, my agency that I'm signed to, my company. <laughs> um, yeah, there was an article about her where she lost like 40 pounds and how her salary like went down a lot, like a couple of thousands of dollars, yeah. And it just made me feel like, you know, it was it was it was me in a very insecure place where I was like, you know what, let me just get there and do it for the money, you know. But what I've learned is that you can't just do things for money. You know, your health is really important. Um, so when I put that weight on, I hit 200 pounds and I had never, ever anticipated being like 200 pounds before. And so when even today like even this morning you know i'm crying because nothing in my closet fits me but that's when i was like okay i need to stop and change, do something about my weight because this is not okay how did people treat you growing up like in school or stuff or was there ever like just anywhere you went how did people treat you and were you ever like bullied at all <laughs> I was never bullied in school, I can't really say that. I was very, I'm very weird, you know, I'm very weird and goofy, <laughs> like my sense of humor yeah. can be either really weird or just inappropriate <laughs> and stuff. Um, but I don't remember ever being teased about my stomach. I would say more so like within the family, like comments that have been made, but it was never intentional like to hurt my feelings or to hurt me. But I just noticed like little things of like comparisons and comments that made me feel like, you know, okay, I clearly am the chubbier one here. Okay, this is kind of serious. We don't have to talk about this on camera. It's like, okay. But was there ever a moment where you thought about or did or just had any thought about like harming yourself in any way to make you change or just because you were so upset? Yeah, I have. I mean... I never really said that out loud that I thought of like cutting myself, but that was only because maybe um, that was being spoken about in school. Like, you know, they give a lot of those little yeah. presentations mm -hmm. where they talk about those things. But if I were to cut myself, I knew that it would be for attention, attention and not because I was like hurting. People cut themselves and harm themselves to focus on that pain that's on their body that they're doing to the sums rather than the pain that's like in their mind and in their yeah. heart. So I, I've i always been very self-aware of like, you know, those types of things, but no, I would never go to self-harming. And now, obviously, you're now like basically famous. No, you're, I'm you're not. Famous. <laughs> no, I'm not. That's I what this girl said Instagram. to me the other day. I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> I have 12,000 <laughs> followers.
That's still a lot. It's still something. It is a lot of people because if you were to put 12,800 people in this house, it'd be lit. <laughs> it'd be a lot of people. We've always been the same. We've always been wanting to take pictures, you know? We always like. Be cute. Yeah. yeah. Um, but like, what was like, what made you want to like model? Um, I actually had this guy, um, Dom, uh, Photo Dom, <laughs> at Photo Dom. <laughs> uh, he DM'd me and he was like, hey, have you ever had any experience in modeling? I know this company, the Bombshell Boutique, who's in the need for a plus size model. Are you interested? I think it'd be a great opportunity for you. And it's, I see that you have a lot of potential. So I was like, oh, okay, I mean, sure, what do I have to do, where do I have to be? So that's where it all started. I became like her main model. I was shooting for free, maybe in exchange for an outfit. We did like an exchange for like an outfit and three sunglasses or like something like that um, for my time. And then from there, it just started um, getting a couple other brands that are interested in me. You've come a long way because you literally like flew like you blew up on instagram after posting about the amber rose thing yes oh, that, that was crazy. crazy that was crazy i'm just <laughs> like i know i mean i i don't see i don't really give a lot of credit to myself i lack proudness for myself i don't really I, I, I'm very hard on myself and I don't say like, oh my God, I've came so far. Oh my God, I'm doing so great. I'm just kind of always focusing on what more I can do to be better and to be the best at what I'm trying, what I'm aiming to do. Um, but yeah, the Amber Rose picture, I had literally just shaved my head and people really thought that I went <laughs> to go shave my head for Halloween and I'm like, <gasps> Yeah. Why would I? Why? Who would That's do too that? Much stuff. Yeah, unless you're paying me like a million dollars, okay? <laughs> but, but um, I I was supposed to have just tell them the story. I was supposed to have my shape, my head shaved like just this part with the butt, like long weave. Yeah. Then I didn't have the weave at the time because I was broke, so I needed a wait to get that. <laughs> and then I was just like, I was seeing my own natural hair. I was like, this looks weird. So yeah. I was just like, just shave more. Ended up shaving the whole thing except like a little bang, and then I went back to get the bang like shaved off. Which sometimes I'm like, damn, I wish I kept that, but it's all good. Um, and then I was at Fabi's house, or I was going to Fabi's house at night for Halloween, and I didn't have a costume. So when I had shaved my head, people were kept calling me Amber Rose, Amber Rose, Amber Rose, like you know when we were at yeah, the mall. Yeah. <laughs> And I was like, okay, let, let me just be Amber Rose for Halloween. Mm -hmm. And it's not because I'm like, oh my God, we look the same. We look so like, because I honest to God do not think that me and Amber Rose I don't, look I mean, alike at all. I'm just biased probably because you're my cousin. <laughs> but I, I mean, I've seen like Chrissy Teigen when I had my hair, but I still see that more like my, like my mom kind of like, they don't look alike. It's just the cheekbones yeah. and stuff. I could see that more than Amber Rose. I don't think I look like Amber Rose. I've never really thought I looked like her ever. But like on Instagram, you used to just be taking pictures of yourself, you know, just goofing off like how we always do our random photo shoots. But now, like, I don't remember the exact moment, but lately, like a few months, maybe like half a year has gone by and I noticed you've just been starting to promote like body positivity. So how'd you get there? Um, I think my whole body positive thing, so with my mom, my mom has always just let me be. She's mm -hmm. never been like, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't say this, you can't, you can't wear that, you can't, my mom has never been strict. She's very yeah. open-minded, and I think it's from her traveling the world with my dad and my siblings and just mm -hmm. seeing so many different cultures and stuff that she's just come to this more open-minded open-mindedness compared to my other cousins I've had a lot more freedom in my life so with that being said when it came to um, dressing and wearing stuff I, I didn't have I wasn't restricted you know I didn't have my dad in my life never had my dad in my life so I didn't have a father figure to be like no you know you can't wear that because men know how other men look at yeah. other women um, so I just always, I just have this whole mindset 
that there is absolutely nothing wrong with the human body. Mm -hmm. And men can do things that women can't, it, like, you know, in general, in all, in all aspects of life. So it's just to me, I think my body is art. I think everybody is beautiful. And uh, what's wrong with showing, you know, a little, a little nipples? What's wrong with showing butt and yeah. legs and wearing a two-piece and wearing a bikini? Like, we were all born naked. Mm -hmm. You know, we're there. We everybody who's watching this has nipples, so it's like for anybody to if you see nipples, like you have them too, you know. Yeah, I get that people want to leave some surprise, leave some to the imagination, but I just, I just don't really agree with that. Um, the whole body positive thing for me is to own your body, love your body not be shameful at all of just being comfortable in your skin and it's just a process an up and down roller coaster of emotions just trying to love yourself to the fullest i see you like you're an inspiration to a lot of people I like you. i look i look like, sometimes i meet people through the comments and stuff and then i love that <laughs> i have the best followers bro nobody ever They're comes so to my page sweet. with hate Never. I've never seen, I don't think I've ever seen any hate. I've never like, I was going to ask you that, but then when I was looking through your Instagram the other day, I'm like, I don't think there's any hate. Yeah, no, there was like this one comment recently, somebody said something, and I was like, I was like, he said something, they said something about like my stomach, I was like, oh my god, I know I need to lose weight, and then I put an asterisk, eats donuts. <laughs> eats donuts. <laughs> Like, no, like, I have the nicest followers. Like, when people DM you, like, do they just say you're an inspiration or do they tell you, like, they're feeling insecure? Like, what are... Both. I, I, I literally went through all of my DMs, like, last week, and I screenshotted everything that was sweet and loving and inspirational. Like, them, you know, oh, you're an inspiration. You make me feel comfortable in my skin. You made me shave my head. <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> okay, um, sis. Okay, sis. <laughs> A lot of people ask me how to become a model, all, just all types of stuff, mm -hmm. but it's always really, really sweet people, a lot of sweet girls out there. If they, if you just notice that someone's insecure, like, what would you say to them? Like, what do you want to say to everyone that's insecure? Really? Um, I mean, honestly, I, so, for, before I answer that, like, the whole, like, with me, I'm, there's this quote that says, I am allowed to be both a work in, in progress and help other people grow mm -hmm. and I love that because that's where I am right now I have this morning I'm looking at the camera <laughs> this morning <laughs> I was crying because nothing could fit me so what did we do my mom and I we went to the store to go and find clothes mm -hmm. that fit me like I I have my days where mm -hmm. I'm not feeling so bomb and so amazing about myself that's normal like we're humans not every day is you know cheerful blue skies so when I see other women feeling insecure, I mean, I have women in my family who I see who beat themselves up about the way they look. And yeah. even that, like, that makes me sad because it's like nobody sees what we see. You know, mm -hmm. I have my, my best friend. I take pictures for her and she'll not like a shot. And I'm like, what do you mean? That's the shot, you know? So it's just... Even with you two. You do that too. I'm so yeah. picky. Yeah, Bella. <laughs> Bella and everybody hates taking pictures for me and this family <laughs> only Bella and Dominique are willing to but um I'm gonna train Ellie <laughs> but um I say for anybody who's feeling insecure talk to yourself like you're your best friend that works so well for me so if you don't like how something looks anything just mm -hmm. talk to yourself like be like girl like you look good relax nobody sees what you see and those things are so frivolous. You don't want to wait until you have third degree burns, until you lose an arm, you lose a leg, till you something happens to your face, you or you develop like a skin. So anything can happen, you know, in any given moment. Mm -hmm. So it's just so more. It's so important to just be content and be happy with the way that you look as you are, and to not beat yourself up so much. I'm still working on that. <laughs> okay, so this is like the last question. No, I don't want to 
day. I know. We, we can just talk about more, whatever okay. you're going to say on your mind. How do you feel about Facetune? <laughs> Facetune. How do I feel about, I think I, oh, I have a video on YouTube about how I feel about Facetune. Um, I used to use Facetune. Sometimes I'll use Facetune only to patch something. Like if I have a stain on my shirt, yeah. you could actually patch that. Um, it's like something's in the background and it's getting in the way of it. I'll use that. Sometimes I'll use it to blur out the background and stuff. But again, do what you want. Like do you. But you, it's obvious. Don't you go on Instagram and you're like she used Facetune? Yeah, I could, I could tell like when people edit their bodies because it looks. Like it this. just looks very unnatural. Like I use Facetune, but I don't use it to edit, like my body. I just like I highlight the details, like my eyes and um, and eyebrows. Sometimes my hair, and then I'll like smooth out my face a little bit if it just looks really like. But see, uh, even that, like you, we could, see, we can't carry Facetune around. Yeah. So how are you gonna feel if your whole Instagram is Facetune? Your fit, your Facetune in your body, your Facetune yeah. in your face, and then you go on a date with a guy, or you go and you meet up with these new girlfriends, mm -hmm. and they're yeah. like. You don't look like that. No, it's not. Oh, I know someone who, yeah, who does that. I know does not look do does that. not look the same in person. And completely. how does that? They have to know that. It's just like how how do you feel about knowing that you yeah. look like a completely different person online? When we were in Italy, I was snatching my waist for dear lord, like girl, you were on Facebook for hours, 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 and we used to do the little. Before and after, before yeah, and yeah, after. Before. And it looked ridiculous. And I go back and I'm like, I didn't look like that. Like, that was not my waist. And I was very insecure when we were on Italy because I had put on a lot of weight from from the beginning of the year to then. So once I would, I mean, I still have them pictures up, honey, because that, because be the like, Vatican <laughs> ain't coming down. Yeah. <laughs> Vatican there, forget <laughs> me. Look at the Vatican. Look at the background. <laughs> yeah, you know. Look at look at the house. <laughs> um, I'm not taking those down. And it's also to kind of remind me, like, girl, you did not look like that. Yeah. Just keep doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And what I notice is people love authenticity. When I have those pictures where I'm sitting and my belly is rolled up like dough, I get the most love and engagement from those pictures because it's real. People like what they can relate to. Yeah. Look at Cardi B. She has no filter. It's like it's like sitting with your stomach out. You don't have a filter on. You know, it's people are drawn to stuff like that realness. Mm -hmm. um, and most people they don't think to take those types of pictures because they think nobody's gonna like it. But people, we we all know that. Your, your waist does not look like a little C, like two backwards C's, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like when yeah, it's yeah. like curved and that your space is like poreless to each his own, do you, that makes, it, it doesn't make you, I can't make you happy, it can, there's no way it can yeah. make you happy. You're not happy with what you're looking at in the mirror. That's when I would challenge every girl to sit in front of a mirror with no makeup on and and na name every nice thing about their face to stop themselves from doing like whole face tube stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna bash anybody that does it though. Yeah, but I just think I just it's just clear that you're not happy, you know. <laughs> but I think society as a whole has come a long way from like accepting like body positivity and stuff. Mm -hmm. But they're still like. There's still a many, yeah, a lot of work to be done. When do you think, like, there will be the moment where majority, I mean, not everyone is going to be to, total po body positivity because there's still some people out there, like, yeah, yeah. those people. <laughs> yeah. But when do you think, or, like, what do you think it's going to take for more people to be more accepting? Um, I think that, well, what it's going to take, it's going to take some time. It's going to take a couple more years, I think. I would give it, I know some people will say 10 years. I say give it, like, five yeah, I mean, but we we don't know. But there are, I think it's just a matter of supporting the brands that are all inclusive and um and supporting them so much that's gonna put those other people out of business. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm excited. I mean, there's a lot of great brands out there. You know, it's like with people say, Oh, I'm not gonna support Gucci anymore because yeah. they're not supporting the black so why like they're not supporting the black community, like 
don't boycott them you know let them be to the side go support the other people and give your money to them and make their stuff like the new pop mm -hmm. thing so eventually once every once individually we work on supporting those brands ourselves you could <laughs> You know, okay, so when it was the whole, when Ed Brazic, I don't know if you, like, he, you heard about that. I believe he's a creative director for Victoria's Secret. I think that's his position in Victoria's Secret. But he made a comment where he said that he's not oh, going yeah, to have his part. fantasy. Yeah. Like, the fantasy cannot be, like, the transgender people or the curvy people. Yeah. Um, and I had written something about that, and one of the, one, one girl called me up on it in my comments and was like, you know, you should support the other brands who are catering to those body types and who are inclusive. And I was like, you know what, you're right. Like, can't be mad at the those brands who are doing what's working for them. We don't. We do not have. We can't control other people's minds. You know, it's mm -hmm. just not possible. We have to worry about ourselves and just have tunnel vision. So, yeah, just support support the other brands that are inclusive <laughs> again I'm rambling <laughs> and uh, it'll all change hopefully in due time just like how we thought that there would be um, segregation for the rest of our lives but yeah. Martin Luther King changed that so he said I have a dream <laughs> we all all of us uh, other models that are bigger than a size to have a dream too and I I think in due time we still getting booked and busy out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just think that the most important thing is self-love and self-growth, which we're not taught in school. Yeah, I know a lot of people, I'm on this spiritual journey where nobody else really, I mean, I can't say nobody else, not that many 21-year-old girls are mm -hmm. on, or even anybody in my age group is probably on. People go to that more so when they're in their, you know, their 40s, their late 30s, their 50s and 60s and so on. But it's important to dig deep and learn about yourself and your the plus sides of you, like the good sides of you, the bad sides. It's good to be honest and real with yourself and to just be very self-aware so that once you do something, like you just kind of like, oh, I, I, I notice I have a pattern or a habit of acting this way or doing or saying these things, so let me try to change that. So for, for me, I think it's just important that we're always growing as a person mm -hmm. because that takes us to such a high level of success really you know a lot of the people who are successful they have very strong mentalities they're not very weak-minded people um and they're very determined in what it is that they want and it's important to know what you want and what you deserve in life with your own goals and with the people who are around you and stuff is that that made sense yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, uh, affirmations and stuff. Self love, yeah. self love, self care routine, self care routine. I, what I'll do, I have a journal, a composition journal. You know, the black and white yeah. ones that are dollar at the stout. <laughs> <laughs> um, I get that in my handy dandy blue pen, and I just write about how I feel, what happened in my day. I'll write down um, things that I want for myself, and affirmations are good. Um, some affirmations you could say are, I am beautiful, I mm -hmm. am loved and accepted exactly as I am, um, there are no limitations to my life, I'm going beyond all my limitations, you know, just those positive things that if you just stand in front of a mirror and say that to yourself, like every day, once a day, a couple times a day in your head, like that is extremely powerful. I know Ashley Graham's, her affirmations yeah. are, I am bold, I am beautiful, and I am brave. And when you just keep saying that to yourself, you're believing you, you and then other people are going to look at you and get that energy from what you're always telling yourself. They're going to just automatically feel that vibe from you. They're like, you know, she's bold. Like, I want this girl to represent this for my brand. She's beautiful. Like, I want her. Or, yeah, you know, yeah. meditation is awesome. I love meditating. I med try to meditate every day. Sometimes I get into a funk and I fall out of alignment with myself and I don't get into it and I don't do it. But 
I noticed that when I'm not doing those things, my affirmations, writing in my journal and meditating, I'm just like kind of whack and I'm feeling so crappy about myself. But when I'm like kumbaya and at peace, <laughs> then I feel really, really good. Yeah, like this stuff, this stuff makes me happy. Like being in front of the camera, talking yeah. about body positivity, inspiring girls, taking pictures, <laughs> being cute. <Yeah. laughs> like I love all of that stuff. So I hope that whoever is watching this and can take away something good to their lives and just be more motivated to just forget what people think and do you, boo. Wear what you want, do what you want. Live your life. Yeah. Um, again, about like the whole body thing, it's like there is just nothing to be ashamed of. You know, I take yeah. pictures sitting down. I don't have a pillow right here, but it's just kind of because my skirt and I knew they'd be walking in. But mm. I have pictures where I'm sitting and my stomach is like folding. Like girls that are skinny, I mean, everybody has their own definition of fat and skinny. You yeah. know, you could be fat to this person and skinny to that person. But, anyways, it's like naturally our stomachs do fold in you know mm -hmm. our arms do expand when they're against our our sides yeah. and stuff our legs spread when we sit it's just it's natural it should be embraced but yeah thanks for coming over i i this was so like i, I love you so much, much. i, I, do, I enjoyed it too i'm so touched that you even thought of me to do this like that means a lot what's next for you what you mean by that? You're trying to like make your YouTube video about just your life? I think, well, I mean, I always made videos like kind of like days in my life, so just like vlogging like what I'm doing that day. <laughs> mm -hmm. But for the new year, like I really just wanted to make more videos that had like a more positive impact because I'm not saying like those videos didn't have positive like impact. I'm just saying it wasn't really like a, gonna affect the community. Like nothing like yeah you want to add it uh, to yeah it. i agree I, that's what i think like a big part of social media like you have to you either have to make people laugh inspire mm -hmm. them fitness fashion yeah. you know all that stuff it's got to have a purpose behind it for sure yeah i just want to make people be like very happy live their best life and be confident <laughs> like <laughs> like seriously i want yes. like everyone to live their best life i love that yeah for me i'd say Every, just watch nieces so, okay. <laughs> just subscribe <laughs> just just keep watching no, I just want to like show people like, what, what I'm capable of you know and inspire people and to just not care like just mm -hmm. don't care I wish everybody would just not care for real it, um, it'd make everything great so much easier so much easier yeah so I guess that's it I will see you guys in my next video, and Jess will probably be in another video sometime soon. Yeah, because this was definitely not the last time you've seen her. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me on Instagram at Jesse Milani right here, and then Bella, <laughs> you gotta give me a. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for having me, chicken nuggets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Yeah. Wouldn't wanna be ya. <laughs> <laughs>